Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Tuesday, March 17th, 2020. It is now 2.22 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And I just wanted to do a video today on the coronavirus and the mentally ill. Um, my personal situation is not all that bad. I have food. I have enough money to last a while. I have medications. Um, that I need for my mental and physical health. Um, I just saw my psychiatrist, I believe it was last week, and we took care of my medications. I picked them up at the pharmacy over the past few days. Um, the world is shutting down more and more. Even in Rochester, New York, there have been business closings. The governor of New York State has been calling for U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to start building hospitals for people who might get sick in the future from coronavirus. And I'm kind of worried about those mentally ill people who are under stress, who for one reason or another may not uh, make it through this all that well. Particularly I'm worried about a rise in suicides. I personally am not suicidal, don't like the situation, have a splitting headache, but beyond that I can't complain. A little bit nervous like everybody is, and I'm actually more nervous about the economy at this point than I am of uh, the coronavirus. The economy is taking a big hit in the United States. The New York Stock Exchange has been down by 3,000 points, I think it was yesterday, which is a huge drop. Um, the federal government is talking about giving money to the American citizens in a variety of different ways, tax breaks and other tools. Um, but like I said, I'm worried about other mentally ill people like myself who may not have enough medications, may not be able to get to a psychiatric emergency room because the hospitals are overcrowded or they will be. Um, I'm particularly afraid of people committing suicide. Um, I know what it's like to feel suicidal and my sister actually did commit suicide. She used a double barrel, double barrel shotgun to shoot herself in the head in 1996. She was the third oldest of 10 children, and I can tell you as a mentally ill person, this whole coronavirus thing, it kind of aggravates my mental health, um, my mental illness. It uh, causes me to be more paranoid, more jumpy, more nervous, more anxious, um, nightmares, um, just general anxiety, and even an increase in my paranoia. But I'm doing okay. The paranoia is nothing new for me, and actually neither is anxiety. So I'll make it through. I have all my psychiatric medications I need. Um, and I would like to tell people who are mentally ill, um, if you have any questions, get in touch by phone with your family physician or your psychiatrist, if you have one, and uh, discuss any needs you might have about um, medications that you need or that you might run out. Um, Make sure that you get your prescriptions filled as soon as possible if you haven't already. Um, and once you get your medications, if you don't already have a good supply, make sure you have a few weeks supply of all your medications, both for medical and psychiatric reasons. Um, and uh, don't commit suicide. We'll all get through this together. Um, it's not going to be easy. It's going to get more and more difficult over the next few weeks. A lot of businesses in Rochester um, are closing down. Or for those who are staying open, like restaurants, you can't sit down and eat in a restaurant, but you can take take out food or delivery from certain restaurants. And bars and uh, pubs are being closed. Um, we call them bars in the U.S., pubs in England. But. Uh, Mentally ill people have to take it one day at a time. Try to do things that reduce your stress, like exercise, go for a walk. Talk to people online using FaceTime or Facebook. Stay in contact with other people. Um, if you can't go out, and in a lot of ways you shouldn't go out, um, make sure you use computers and technology to help you reach out and talk to other people, um, your friends and your family. Um, I'm doing this video because it helps me cope for my own personal situation. And, um, but like I said, there's a lot of mentally ill people 
who might end up in psychiatric crisis. And if they go to the psychiatric emergency rooms, it might overwhelm the psychiatric emergency rooms that we're already worried about medical portions of emergency rooms being overwhelmed from the coronavirus, it wouldn't help the hospitals to have an influx of a lot of psychiatric emergencies. In Rochester, New York, we have over the past 25 to 30 years drastically reduced the number of psychiatric beds available to the mentally ill. Um, and if there was a glut in a sudden wave of people who are mentally ill going to the psychiatric emergency room, that's just going to put strains on the hospitals by crowding the emergency room and um, causing just general confusion. I can tell you that the psychiatric emergency room at Strong Memorial Hospital in Rochester, New York, leaves something to be desired. Their psychiatric emergency room was undergoing construction in the last time I was there. As a patient, they had everybody crowded like within just a few inches apart from each other into one hallway. And there was no rooms or beds to lie down and you were lying down on couches or in chairs, geriatric chairs, that kind of thing. It was very, very crowded, not good at all for something like the coronavirus. And um, if it's still like that, that's gonna cause a lot of real problems. Um, it's not the most comfortable place to be when you're going through a psychiatric emergency. Um, and if they get an influx of people, they're not going to be able to handle that. Um, so if at all possible, stay away from the psychiatric emergency rooms. Don't commit suicide. Keep yourself busy. Listen to music. Meditate, which is what I do. Stick to a daily schedule. Try to live as normally as possible. I'm not pretending that it's totally possible to live as normal. But you got to stay as normal as you can, given the situation that you're personally in. I'm trying to stick to my daily work schedule. I do my work online, so my work hasn't been affected, and I can still do these videos. Um, and, you know, keep up your personal hygiene. These little things are important. Get up at the same time every day. Go to bed at the same time every day. Get up, brush your teeth, shave, take a shower, put on clean clothes. Do your wash. Keep your house or your apartment clean. Keep your personal hygiene up. Wash your hands a lot with soap and water. Use hand sanitizer. Um, be careful about being in contact with other people in public because everybody's in lockdown right now for the coronavirus. And other than that, I wish everybody well. And I don't know what else to say. I am kind of worried about mentally ill people and the stress they're going to be undergoing or already are.